If you're like me and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on buying coyote bait and you want to make some yourself that works good and catches coyotes, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make it right now. Things you'll need. Some sort of meat. Um, this is deer. Deer meat I shot last year. And you can use... Last year I used goose for this. But deer will work. Basically any kind of wild animal meat will work. Next thing you'll need is a meat grinder to grind up this meat. And you'll need some salt to keep the meat from rotting. And some mackerel. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I make my coyote bait. Alright, let's get started. So, obviously first you want to go ahead and start grinding up some meat. So I'll go ahead and put it in the meat grinder. Alright, I just finished grinding all the deer meat up. You can see it on there. And um, one thing I want to mention real quick is you don't want to grind up fresh meat you want it to rot a little bit just for a couple days so it has a little bit more smell to it so the coyotes can find it easier but you don't want it make it rot too much or else you want it you want the bait to be like something a coyote wants to eat so you don't want it to be so rotten that the coyote just wants to roll in roll in it like a carcass or something but you want it to have enough smell to it so that the coyote knows what it is and where it's at and he wants to eat it and dig it up so we got all the deer meat grinded up pretty good so let's go ahead and crack these mackerel cans open there we go and you can see there's so much juice in there look at all that it's like half juice so you want to dump that, some of that out so your bait's not just a bunch of wet stuff that does not real good. So you go ahead and dump that out a little bit, dump a little more out. There we go. And we'll just dump it in there. Get the other one here. Dump the juice out. Not all of it, just just about most of it. There we go. And now we gotta grind all this up together. So I'm just gonna start with the fish first. All right, I got all the fish ground up, so I'm gonna dump it in the, with the deer meat. And now I'm going to add my salt. So the salt, it keeps it from rotting. And I forgot to say this in the beginning of the video, but it also keeps the bait from freezing. So we're going to dump a whole bunch in there. And mix it up. I'm going to add a little bit more salt, well, a whole lot more salt actually, so we do not want this bait to freeze or get rotten while we're trapping. And that's about it, that's what it looks like right now, go ahead and show you it a little better here. So that's it, there's the coyote bait, that's what it should look like when you're done, so you can just get your sheep's wool, whatever. I use sheep's wool when I trap and just scoop it out. Just like that. Put it down the hole. So, this is going to be my second year using this bait for trapping coyotes. Uh, last year I used it. I caught two coyotes off of this bait. But, that's about as most like most coyotes I trap a year. But, I'm st I could catch more. I'm still learning how to trap coyotes the right way. I didn't have my 
hand tension right so I got a whole bunch of set off traps probably around 10 to 15 traps set off last year because I didn't have that pan tension right so it obviously works coyote bait works real well so that's it for this one guys I hope you try out this coyote bait this trapping season make sure to subscribe to see trapping videos coming up and I'll see you in the next one